Ringnode, is it a massive scam or is it something that actually produces real passive income? What is up gem hunters? My name is Dan from the Hidden Gem Network. And in today's video, we're doing something that we've never done before. We're traveling outside of the world of DAOs, kinda. Because Ring Finance or Ring Nodes is just something that it, it's not really a node. So I'm going to preface it with that. But before I dive into this video, this is a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to actually create a node, what it is and everything you need to know. And by the way, if you enjoy DeFi, whether that's playing with DAOs or reserve currency protocols, or whether that's yield farming or nodes, whatever it is, I want you to go to the description right now and take a look at the discord called we versus them. And once you get into that Discord, there's a private video in here. I'm gonna send you on a little bit of a scavenger hunt. For those of you that are serious about DeFi and controlling your money and how much you make, go ahead and check this out. Cause I have something really interesting that I'm doing and I don't wanna announce it to the public just yet. Only those that are really serious about making a substantial living or a lot of income with the DeFi sector. However, for those of you that don't care, it's not for you. But for those of you that do care, great. So first thing is first, what is Ring Nodes, Ring Finance? What is it trying to accomplish? Well, if you look over here, it's essentially, they claim access the world of DeFi through a multi-chain yield processing node. So the best way for me to break this down in regular everyday human terminology is think of a hedge fund or think of a fund where you invest money into and then they allocate it into different, uh, different investments for you. Or maybe if you look at an index fund where you just buy the index fund and then inside that index fund, there's a bunch of other companies and depending on how those companies do, you get paid. So what you're doing with Ring Finance when you actually go ahead and create a node is they allocate your money, they allocate the capital that is being generated and they put it into different projects. So you can see right over here, eight hours ago, link of Dow poll number four, we posted in five to 10 minutes on Discord. This time we'll inject a quarter million dollars into five protocols. We're looking at Olympus Dow, Wonderland, Strong, Gala, IGO. So they're allocating funds into different projects in the DeFi space. Now, let me address this very, very quickly. Is this a scam? How much money can you make? What are they promising? All of that. First thing is first, they're anonymous and they've been hacked before. So there's been, you know, there's been a massive hack with Ring and I'll be the first to say that I wasn't really intrigued in Ring when this hack happened, even though it was really big news, but they've recovered, obviously looking at the price, they've recovered. Long story short is they've kind of, you know, Tr are trying to recover, trying to gain more notoriety, but obviously we're currently in a bear market. Hopefully Bitcoin goes ahead and, you know, breaks 52 K. It would be a fantastic new year. That'd be amazing. But again, we can see that it's super volatile just throughout the entire year. It's so, so, so volatile with this price action. And we are currently at lows, the yearly lows right now. And that's because of the fact that everything has just taken a massive hit. Now, what do I think is going to happen with the price and why am I looking into ring now? Because the hype is here. A lot of people are talking about it and it's at a perfect entry point. So uh, for us to see movements like this again, where it's a, you know, where it was 150, 170, then right back up to 300. Then we have right over here, 150 again. Then we see just parabolic movements to three, $400. So we're at a really good entrance price of $88 and 37 cents or $90. And we can get 10 ring, that's the token, in order to go ahead and have the highest ROI or how much passive income we make every single day when we create a node. So before we actually go ahead and, you know, kind of move funds and how to do all that, do I believe it's a scam? Um, probably, <laughs> I mean, it might just be because they're anonymous, they've been hacked before. Now to their credit, it is the DeFi field and because of what they're doing with the funds, basically allocating investors funds into different DeFi projects, 
it's really smart to remain anonymous because more than likely they don't have the legal licenses to be able to act like financial advisors or just financial individuals to move people's money around and you know make decisions for people that invest so again i get it so if i had to scale it out of 10 i'd give it a seven and a half on the risk factor 10 being very risky so with all that being said let's actually get everything created i'm going to head over to google and just search metamask and that's what we're going to do first we're going to install metamask on google chrome and here we go i'm going to click add to chrome add extension and the first thing I will do is pin it. So you can see right over here, it's gonna disappear. But then we have the little extension icon. We're gonna click the extension icon. We're gonna click the pin button. And now I'm gonna go through the setup and just get everything created, my seed phrase, password, and then I'm gonna show you how I can actually and how you can actually fund your MetaMask and link it with Binance Smart Chain. Great, so now we have MetaMask downloaded. However, we're gonna need Binance Smart Chain on this wallet. So what we're gonna do, and I'll provide the links in the description below as well, but you can just run a Google search for Binance Smart Chain MetaMask and just click on the first link that points to academy.binance.com. And what we're gonna look for is we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look for the main net. So we're actually gonna head over to MetaMask again. And for you to see full screen, you can actually click on MetaMask. And right here, you click on the little dots, click expand view, and this is how you see it. So we're gonna click where it says Ethereum mainnet. We're gonna click add network, and we're just going to copy and paste everything that we see under the mainnet. So we're gonna call it smart chain. We're gonna do the RPC. The chain ID is 56 BNB, right? So we're gonna do 56 BNB and the Explorer right there. And here we go, we're gonna click save. And if you did it correctly, you'll see zero BNB with the BNB logo over here. Now here's how you get BNB into your MetaMask. Now this is probably the easiest way for beginners because everybody can do this this simple way. So we're gonna be using Coinbase and we're also going to be using KuCoin. So what you're able to do is inside of Coinbase, you wanna buy something that has a low transaction fee because we're gonna send it over to KuCoin, exchange it into USDT, and then get BNB with that. So I'm gonna just buy right over here. I'm going to buy $100 worth of Litecoin. So LTC, and right over here, pay with. I'm obviously gonna pick my bank, so give me one second. So here we are. Now you can see under my assets, I can click on Litecoin. And it's gonna take a few days to clear, so I just converted what I already had. So you can see Litecoin right over here. Click on Wallet, and right over here, you can click Send or Receive. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the Litecoin to KuCoin. So inside of KuCoin, what you're able to do is just click on Main Account. Once you create an account, it's free, and they don't require verification. So what you can do is search LTC right up top, and just click on Deposit. Now, when you click on deposit, you can see this LTC address. Just click on copy, go back to your Litecoin, click on the two, paste that in there, click send all, and oh, I guess all the money is there. So click continue, and I'm gonna click send now. So give it a few minutes as it goes ahead and transfers over to KuCoin, and I'll show you what to do from there. So now we have our Litecoin, but you're probably wondering, why are we using Litecoin instead of like Ethereum or Bitcoin into KuCoin? is because Litecoin, the fees are so cheap. If you send Ethereum to your KuCoin, you're probably paying like five to $10 in fees. Bitcoin's probably like 25 to 30. In, it's just ridiculous. So Litecoin is just like literally a few, a few cents. So I have Litecoin in here, $140. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you this, okay? So we're gonna click on main account over here because that's where it was deposited. And we're gonna click on transfer. And we're gonna go from main account to trading account. And we're just gonna click the available amount and just click confirm. Then over here on trading, just go to spot trading. And from spot trading, we're going to sell into uh, USDT. And how you can find that is right at the top, right over here. You can just search LTC. But when you search LTC, make sure it's US, uh, make sure it's uh, LTC USDT, not LTC3 or LTC USDC. Just look for LTC USDT. All right, so we're here. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on market because I wanna sell it fast. And I want to sell 100% of my LTC for USDT. I'm gonna click sell. You'll see a little uh, message. Okay, great. Then we're gonna go back to assets, go to trading account over here. 
All right, so again, we're gonna go back to the assets tab, trading account. You'll see that we have USDT, right? So as a matter of fact, we shouldn't go back. We should buy uh, BNB with the USDT. So we're gonna, uh, over here at the top, right next to the logo, we're gonna search BNB. But with BNB, we're gonna look for BNB slash USDT, none of the others, okay? So BNB USDT, we're gonna click on market again. And then we're gonna click 100% to buy, you know, to use our entire balance to buy BNB. And there we go. Then we're gonna go back to assets, go to trading account, and we're gonna transfer it back to our main account. So the BNB right over here, we're gonna click transfer, and we're gonna go from trading account to main account. We're gonna click all of it. We're gonna click confirm. So now we're gonna head over here to main account, and from main account, we're gonna click withdraw. Now, when we withdraw, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go back to your MetaMask, make sure you're um, in the smart chain. It doesn't really matter if you're in smart chain, but just make sure you have smart chain installed like I showed you before. You're gonna click on this where it says account one, where it says copy to clipboard, you copied it, and you're just gonna paste it in the wallet address and make sure the network says BEP20, BEP20. So the BNB amount, we'll click on max, and you don't need any remarks. You can just click confirm and go through the steps to go ahead and confirm the withdrawal. So we just withdrew it. It's gonna process. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to our MetaMask and now we're going to wait until it clears in here. Now you're gonna notice it's gonna cut. I'm gonna go ahead and load this wallet up with more than what I transferred in because I wanna buy more ring in order to hit the 10 ring nodes that is required to have the maximum APY. Now that I have my BNB in here, it's time to go ahead and actually dive into Ring. So what I like to do is I like to go to Coin Market Cap, just search the actual project that you want to get into. In my case, Ring, and look for the uh, look for the actual uh, token, and then use the official links that they provide on the uh, Coin Market Cap. Just make sure you're on the right listing. So in this case, I'm going to open up Ring Financial, and I'm going to click Launch App at the top right hand corner. Now I need to connect my wallet first and I'm gonna go ahead and authorize this. Just click connect and there we go. It looks like I, doesn't I don't have any nodes, obviously, because I'm about to make one. So what I'm gonna do is I need to buy ring first. So let's just click on where it says buy ring. It's gonna take me to PancakeSwap. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click I understand, click import. Just make sure that when you click import, if I don't have the token in there, what I'm gonna do is go back to CoinMarketCap Click on, you can either click add to MetaMask or click copy address. Just for habit, I click copy address, go back into MetaMask and click on import tokens and then just paste the address, add custom token, import tokens. So now I can actually see when I buy the ring, I can see how many are in there. So let's go back to PancakeSwap. Let me click on connect wallet, click on MetaMask. And here we go, click next, click connect. And here we go. So ring, I want to buy 10 ring but I need to make sure that I have enough BNB in my balance to cover the gas fees. Remember, you don't wanna always buy 100% because you need to cover gas fees in order to go ahead and transact. In my case, I want, let's just say 10.5 ring. It's gonna cost me 1.7 BNB. So I'm gonna click swap. I'm gonna cl uh, click confirm swap. And here we go, click confirm. And I'm going to wait for this transaction to be done basically. So you're gonna notice that once this transaction is approved, which should be relatively fast, there we go, it's going to appear that I have 10.5 ring that I just bought. So now that that's done, we're gonna close out a pancake swap. We're going to go back to ring and app.ring.financial. I'm gonna refresh, click connect wallet again. And this time I'm going to go ahead and click create node. And you can see gold, 10 ring, 2,600% per day earn $49.55 $49 per day. It's around $1,500 per month. And if we actually do the math for what I just went ahead and spent, let's break this down. So I spent 1.7 BNB, but if I go ahead and take a look at how much that actually is, if I take a look at the exact 1.71 BNB, so 1.71 BNB is $928. So if I just go 930 divided by 40, what was it that they promised? 4955, 4955, it'll take me around 19 days to break even. 
if ring holds the price that it is but again i definitely think that once the market goes ahead and starts swinging to the upside that ring does have a potential to also see exponential gains thus why i'm talking about it now because it looks like a good time to snipe this so i'm going to go back to ring node um, and i'm going to name my node i'm going to call it we verse them and if you get that reference great if you don't check the discord that's in the description so right over here, a, con a contribution of ring tokens to the ring community is required to create a node and participate. Great. I went ahead and read the disclaimer. Uh, your ring tokens will be distributed as follows. 20% future use, 10% to ring BNB pool for rewards, yada, yada. So I'm going to click approve creation. I'm going to click a confirm over here, 18 cents. And once it's approved, we're going to be good to go. So once it's approved, you can click create a node. It's gonna go ahead and open the transaction again, click on confirm and give it a few seconds so it can create that node for you. So here we are, after it confirms, you'll see that we have the node down here. In our case, we verse them, date created, type gold and rewards per day, 0.556 ring. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't need to cash it out every single day. Can I? Sure, yeah. I mean, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to sit on this and I'm going to watch the price movement. Now, if the price starts swinging to the downside, then I might consider going ahead and claiming so I can kind of liquidate before it tanks. But like I said, I'm going to be paying very close attention to see what this actually does on a day-to-day -day basis and set alerts up on my phone to uh, indicate if a price hits a certain amount Then I'm going to go ahead and claim and liquidate so I can go ahead and not possibly lose everything here. So with all that being said, that's how you participate in Ring and how you create a node. And like I said, it's super easy to do. I just walked you through everything. Like I also mentioned before, if you haven't done so yet, take a look at the description, join the we versus them discord. Once you verify, I want you to go to urgent click here. And I want you to watch this video. It's an unlisted video that I have, but if you're into DeFi and you really want to progress and be inside of like a secret community, uh, I'm not gonna charge anything, literally. It's, it's actually free. Like it, it's crazy what I'm doing here. Check it out. I guarantee you'll like the vision. So with that being said, enjoy Ring. Hope you make some cash. Hope we don't get rugged. And I hope that we're all going to make it because we are all going to make it. My name is Dan from the Hidden Gem Network. I'll catch you guys very soon. Have a great holiday season. And yeah, look out for new videos. Catch you guys.